Hey guys, today I got something special for y'all. I have an N41 test that I did in Eugene, Oregon, which is a uh, fairly large city in Western Oregon. It's pretty fast growing. Uh, I think this is a really smart deployment of N41 here, uh, as this area is really going to need it to avoid some serious congestion issues in the next few years. Now, as I get this test started here, uh, I should really go over what they're running. Uh, so we're looking at band 2 at uh, 10 megahertz, uh, which is pretty common deployment for uh, for Oregon at this point. Um, pretty much everywhere. And holy moly, would you look at that. We got N41 at 60. And of course, our uh, basically statewide layer of band 66 at 20. So I'm super excited to show you guys these speeds. So let's just get it going and see if we get anything better than the last test. First off, ping is uh, okay, but holy crap, look at these speeds. Definitely a major improvement from the LTE in this area, which topped out at around 170 megabits per second, but uh, so, wow, 500. You know, it's hard for me to make up the uh, the excitement here after, after the fact, but uh, let me tell you, <laughs> I was sure quite excited to see this uh, when, I, when I recorded this snippet of it, and that upload speed, so we got 515 down, 53 or 54.3 up 83 millisecond ping and 12 millisecond jitter with a 0.0 percent loss rate and that is quite impressive uh boy i wasn't expecting to see it uh you know i know there's a deployment waiting there but um you know this is really nice to see really nice to see in a in a city that needed it it needed uh, something to relieve congestion issues so uh, that's that's really nice to see also on our list today is a, I, I think what is a uh, AT&T 5G, like a millimeter wave node that was sitting on top of a pole um, in Eugene, uh, which I was quite surprised to see. Uh, but what was nice to see is that it was positioned, uh, I think strategically um, in an area where there was like a Safeway, uh, which is like a grocery store and um, also a couple other, like some apartment buildings and what else was there it's a college area there's a lot of dorms so it was very strategic i think um but in that same competing area was that n41 so i i think uh i think it's definitely an area for them to push for um when it comes to uh deployment and uh you know tower density going into the future especially with all those new iphone 12s and, and potentially next year uh well not potentially but next year with the iphone 13 or whatever they call it um that's going to be something that will need to be addressed. So nice to see that not only T-Mobile is tackling that area, but AT&T as well. Um, uh, two different flavors of 5G, but nice to see. So I have just one other interesting thing to show, and that's the uh, N71 that I saw that was at 10 megahertz of bandwidth, which was quite surprising to me. I hadn't seen that before. Um, but as you can see, it performs quite well, hitting a top uh, speed of about 140 megabits per second, but bottoming out around 130 with a nice ping. Looks like 39 milliseconds uh, with a uh, 28 millisecond jitter and a decent upload. I I'd like to point out we were going about, I think, 65 or 70. So uh, it, it was working quite well for the speed we were traveling. And I was really surprised with how well it was performing, even with that cut down N71. So... Good, good job with uh, good job with that one, T-Mobile. And then the last thing I want to mention before I get into my market testing is the fact that Eugene had a second layer of Band 66 running on top, which is the first time I've seen it quite like this. I've seen it in other uh, videos across YouTube, but uh, normally I see a layer of 20 megahertz of Band 66, and that's it. Uh, I've started seeing, especially in Central Oregon, on the other side of the mountains from Eugene. Uh, 10 and 15 megahertz channels of band 66, which is incredibly interesting. Um, but, uh, you know, here we had band, or 20 megahertz of band 66, as well as an extra five. So a total of 25 megahertz of band 66. So uh, really interesting to see. Glad I got to test some of it. Um, so now I'll just transition in, show you a little bit of my testing. Uh, here's, here's some of my N41 tests uh, throughout the day, as well as some N71 and stuff. And it's about an hour, hour span there, driving around the city, 
Um, and as, as you, you can tell when I got in the range of the N41 tower, and there's a, obviously a significant difference, but generally good performance, never going below 100 megabits per second, although approaching it there with that 101. Upload speeds were a bit variable, but honestly, really, really nice. Uh, very, very good deployment there in Eugene. Uh, very happy with what was going on there. So hopefully that translates over to more cities in Oregon because we could really use the love at this point. And finally, I'm getting into my market testing here. This is a new part of my video that I'm gonna start doing when I enter cities like this, where I wanna see how their LTE is performing on different frequencies. I think it's interesting, maybe not for everybody. If you wanna see a complete breakdown, I'll put timestamps in the description so you can skip through and see speeds and also bandwidth for each of the frequencies I tested. And I should also include network information like if it's T-Mobile or Sprint. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy, and this is the end of my narration for this video, so go ahead and enjoy the rest of this, and I'll let the music go on. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.